team started out this season with singular goals to make it to the NCAA tournament. Nick, that business has been taken care of. Now it's time for the madness to begin in today's game between the Navy midshipmen and the Duke Blue Devils. This place is rocking and rolling, baby! The Blue Devils are the highly favored team in this one, Dick. Still, what are the keys for the game? Well, the keys should be simple tonight, Brad. First, I look for the point guard to be in control of the team out there. He's got to be the leader. He's got to be the boss. He's got to be in command. Next, reward your big men for running the court. Get them some easy buckets in transition. Lastly, it's imperative that you win the battle on the boards. Well, partner, I say let's get to the action on the court, and we'll see how this one plays out. The point guard receives the pass. Keeps the dribble as they set it up again. They work it around the perimeter. He fires from long range. Now they'll bring it up. Trying to go inside. He attempts a jump hook. And he missed. Patience by the dribbler being shown as the offense is reset. The small forward handles the pass. He can't miss. And he shoved man's feeling it, Brad. Rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Dumps it in. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Showing great patience as he waits for the reset of the offense. They look to get it to the inside. There they come with a double team to stop it. Fakes a jumper. Has the screen up on top. He bombs from outside. Number 12 is feeling good. He may be in the zone right now, Brad. They work it around the perimeter. Trying to feed inside. Goes up for two. And in and out. Trying to feed the low block. A lot of good things happen when you bring the ball down to the inside. That one's blocked from behind. Great rotation by the D. I love it. Goes in. Let's take a second look. <laughs> Working it around the perimeter. He takes the shot from the baseline. Shot didn't fall in, but it was a great use of the screen. Nice drop step. I tell you, he does a great job with his footwork to create the drop step. Oh, poor job. Poor job offensively. I'm coaching. He's sitting next to me. It goes. The senior leader gets the hoop and the foul call. Big trip to the line. Coming up, baby. Going to the line. Hits that one. That's 11 unanswered. See what they set up, Dick. Pump fakes. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. And the ball goes out of play. Keeps the dribble as they regroup. Moving it around the perimeter. 
Unloads a three. Off the rim and no good. Number 44 takes the pass in the paint. He takes the three. Bounces off. Looking for a good shot. From three-point land. Drains it. He's going to see this guy in his sleep tonight, Dick. He's already living a nightmare, Brad. They'll work it around the arc. That's a high post screen close to the lane. He takes the shot off the baseline. I like the idea of having a glass cleaner on your team. Someone who can get those rebounds. The skip pass is picked off. Ferocious defense tonight, Dick. Hey, are you kidding me? They're making me nervous. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. No good from the field. Defensively, low block. Oh, nice job fronting him for the steal. A uh, terrific job creating the opportunity, and it really converts an offensive transition. He shoots from downtown. The Blue Devils have found a player who cannot seem to miss, Dick. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. Nice to have you along with us tonight. Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews alongside. I'm Brad Nessler. we got a good one going. Puts it on the floor and up and under. I tell you, did a great job creating the good angle, too. When he goes up and under, he seals off the defensive player. And a momentary look from three-point land. He launches the bomb. The Blue Devils have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. And he's on fire. They work the perimeter. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job of post-defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. Good job defensively. They just won't give him any openings. Pressure in the basketball. With a bucket. Doesn't go. perimeter they work it around the perimeter with a deep shot from outside he's got to pass those off Dick. he doesn't trust his teammates Brad defensively down on the low block and there's a steal a uh, terrific job anticipating reading the offense and making that steal Got a nice screen. He throws it up from downtown. He misses it. With the jump hook. Can't get the shot to go. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. The center receives the ball. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Nice high post screen. He attempts the trifecta off the mark with that shot. The center handles the feed. Number 44 fakes the shot. Got it. And they're going to count it. Determination, baby. If you want to know how aggressive a team is, you check to see how many times they go to the free throw line. That's a great indicator. On the dribble, gives it up. Way out on top. Controlling the ball. 
Let's watch the defense down on the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays him where he gets a good post position, so he's able to get the ball. The good rebound position, a good block out. And that's essential in the post. A lot of guys don't realize part of post play is ultimately to block out and get good rebound position. Now they work it around the perimeter. He shoots from right of the circle, way off target. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Had an open guy in the post and went the other way. He looks for the bomb. Off the rim and no good. Squares up down on the low block. I tell you, you teach your player to face up to get in triple threat position. You can drive, shoot, or you can pass. And there's a lazy pass. It's stolen away. Turnover. Will it turn into two the other way? Way off target. Working it around the perimeter. He shoots from the baseline. Great job of freeing himself with the screen, but shot won't go. Turnaround jumper. Navy are on a bit of a run. Let's see how long they can keep it on, Brad. Jumps in, drops the bucket despite the harm. Here's one more look at it. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. He's going nowhere. Going Ball nowhere. stolen. It's going the other way. That's where it's going. Turnover city, baby. Got to eliminate those turnovers. Gave it up. They move it into the front court. He got the steal. The pressure got to the ball handler. Awesome ball pressure. It was too much for him, and he lost possession. Looking for a good shot. He shoots from left of the circle. Goes. Both teams are looking to get something going here. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle there. I think it's very essential that you establish post position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. He strips him clean. Fast break possibility coming. Goes up for two. Nice job to create the angle using the blast. Moving it around the perimeter. Let's it fly. Duke are on a nice little run at the moment, partner. They have to remember solid defense leads to good offense, which is what we're seeing right now. Boy, terrible execution on offense. The ball goes out of bounds. All right, let's check in third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, both teams appear to be really focused as they return to their benches. This is it for one of these teams, and as you guys frequently say, it's do or die, guys. Thanks, Aaron. The turn, a fadeaway jumper. You talk about versatility. There are many guys that will make that fadeaway jump shot. Great touch, impossible to block that shot. Gives it up. There's the fake. Time to pick up the defense here now. Stolen.
Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Can't get the shot to drop. For two, and off the mark. Those long arms trying to get it in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing, that big guy down inside, though, is so big that really it's tough to fly up the ball. There's a bad pass right to the defender. On the outside. Intercepted. Gave it up. For the bucket, makes the shot. That's basic. He shoots from outside. Awesome job of running his guy into the screen to get off that J. Inside and now back outside. He makes the block. And the ball goes out of bounds. Check that out. He's pumping up the crowd. He wants him to turn it up a notch. He's saying, get up, people. Get up. Got a man in high post. Puts the ball loose. Looking for a good shot. Takes away the pass. a drop step and a low block. Very key is to get good post position, and he does, and then he drops the step. Oh, 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 oh. Great defensive play. Anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. Here's a double team. He up fakes. They work it around the perimeter. Stolen ball. Again, they look to run. Number five picks up the defensive foul. First team foul. And we'll go to the free throw line. You can't miss free throws, Dick. It's going to kill you somewhere down the line. Well, you got to convert. That's the one thing like football, special situations. You got to be able to execute there. The high screen. Look at speed. I tell you, man, there's nothing like having athleticism and quickness. Watch again. a nice shot fake. There's a double team waiting there. What a great steal. Defensive player was really right on top of that basketball. Gets it to fall. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Oh. 
Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. Working it around the perimeter. Fakes the shot. Shoots it. He shows the sweet touch. How about this? the man in the high post if he can get it there picks off the pass now the kick out dump it inside jumped in front to take it away they work it around the perimeter that was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. Here they come now on a turnover. Goes up for two. Moving it around the perimeter. This young guy is a crowd favorite, Dick. The fans know exactly how much he has done for this program. Up and inside. On the dribble, gives it up. He intercepts it. And the ball goes out of play. Everybody into the act right now, and you can tell by the cheerleaders on the sideline how things are going. Isn't that what makes college so special? The enthusiasm of the cheerleaders, the mascot, everybody involved. Set that screen away. Easy one. team now bad angle the ball goes out of bounds boy assisted turnover racers are big and that's a big turnover I'll tell you they're turning the ball over too often you can't win when you do that there's the trap tries to get the D to bite Two perfectly executed. They get the ball down low, and he hips up with his man, and down he goes. Hey, Brad, that's a flop. That's Mr. Flop right there. Don't call that, baby. Shot clock is dead. In the paint. They strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there. For the bucket. Nice job to create the angle using the glass. Another turnover. I'm not talking out the turnovers either. Number 30 is called for the foul. First personal foul. They're feeling good. The momentum is on their side, and everything has fallen into place. Their body language, Dick, says it all. I'd celebrate, too, partner. They are playing some great basketball at the moment. Well, he'll get an opportunity to change the scoreboard again from the free throw line. Well, he created a foul opportunity.
Got it from the free throw line. Launches it. Off the rim and no good. At the half, the Blue Devils are ahead by two. Dick, what would you say is the play of the half in this tightly knit affair? That was some nice inside play in the first half. We'll have to see which team continues to pound the ball inside in the second half. We're about ready to start the second half, Dick. Let's go down and see how this one unfolds. Duke has hit a ton of three-pointers in this first half, Dick. And if you ask me, Brad, I think that was the difference in the first half. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, as you can imagine, both coaches were very intense as I met with them at halftime. They said at this point, it all comes down to playing their game, having fun, and enjoying the moment. Guys? All right, thanks, Aaron. For the bucket. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. Gave it up. Puts it on the floor and up and under. I think did a great job creating a good angle, too. When he goes up and under, he seals off the defensive player. Defense! 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 Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork, beating him to the spot. And in and out. And he scores it off the glass. On the outside, number 21 has got the fans roaring and applauding. He means so much to the program. He's a consistent performer and always competes at a high level. Here they go into transition. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. The shot's off target. Work it around the arc. The small forward takes the pass. He tries the three. He knocks down another bucket. This kid's got skills, Brad. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Goes up for two. to get it inside to the low block unable to so far nice job of packing it in defensively yeah they're really doing a great job packing it in then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass takes the pass in the paint and that's going to be an offensive foul for sure what a great job defensively what a super job great footwork and he really draws the charge the dribble gives it up he attempts a jump hook doesn't go the center takes the feed for two I tell you waste any time he got the ball in the right position and then what it does it keeps the defensive player away from blocking a shot when you make that turn fake and has it rejected defense did a great job with the block shot oh what a great job transition offense poor job defensively you don't get back don't stop the ball and they were allowed to convert get the number game going Tries to draw the charge, and even he has to smile about this one. I tell you, kidding me? That's one of the great acting jobs of all time. Get him an Oscar. And the ball goes out of bounds. 
Nick, how's that backcourt comparison shaping up, do you think? Hey, Brad, that's a question that these coaches should be asking themselves. How can they, as coaches, get the most out of their guards? Are they quick enough to pressure the opponent, or offensively, can they create off the dribble? To me, it's about finding the weaknesses and attacking them. Here's a block from behind. My man was on a mission. I think he's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. Picked off. Looking for a good shot. For the deuce. They still don't score. And he scores despite the hand. Dickey's still applying great pressure on the dribble. He attempts a jump hook. I tell you, the jump hook so effective, especially against a big close player. Very difficult to block that shot. Now they work it around the perimeter. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job at a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. Nice move with a face-up. I tell you one thing, Brad. I like guys that are versatile in that post. Facing up is a way to take advantage of three basic moves. In the paint. Trying to come up with a steal, and they do. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Tears it away. Fill the lanes. That's the only way they'll be able to get some fast break opportunities. Look at that spacing. There they come with a double team to stop it. How do you keep the man sealed on that double team, Dick? Not like that, Brad. They really got to be active. Active hands, active feet. Dick, this is just playing good defense. Swatted from behind. Never saw him coming, Brad. Gave it up. And he'll kick it back outside. Number 30 picks up the foul. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Off the rim and no good. Up and inside. For the bucket. Navy. Now a nice little run going here. Can they keep it up, though? No one's proven otherwise just yet, Brad. Dickie really seems to be getting great position down there in the low block. Yeah, he really is gaining position because he gets the good angle, and they also have the good entry from the wing. The midshipmen are up by seven. They've got a three-point shooter spotting up. Great pressure, great double team. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. On the outside. He shoots from left of the circle. He drains it. Tries to turn, the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. And has.
has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. Way off target. The shooting guard with the ball. Takes away the pass. Number 33 is whistled for the foul. Second personal foul. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Well, Brian, as you can imagine, I am seeing a completely different attitude on the bench now than I did in the first half. The coaching staff and players, they just have looks of disbelief on their faces. Buries it. Foul. Basket falls despite the contact. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Runs in first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And he made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Looking for a good shot. Nice move with a face-up. I'll tell you one thing, Brown. I like guys that are versatile in that post. Facing up is a way to take advantage of three basic moves. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. There's the pick. He pulls the trigger. Off the rim and no good. the outside got an open look if he wants it from beyond the arc he missed picks off the lazy pass looking for contact he keeps the concentration off the contact for the score Those long arms trying to get it in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing, that big guy down inside, though, is so big that really it's tough to deny him the ball. Duke, the ACC, they go hand in hand. Hey, they sure do, Brad. The players that Duke is able to sign are perfect for the ACC. Athletic, creative, some of the finest players in the nation. Kick it back outside. He shoots from downtown. Rims out. Up and inside. The power forward gets the ball. He throws it up from downtown. Oh, he's going to knock those down. Great screen, but no go. He unloads a three. It's good. The Blue Devils are down by eight. They work it around the perimeter. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Done a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Boy, it's so important when you're getting points off turnovers. And look at that stat. I'll tell you one thing. Coaches go nuts. If that stat's negative, it absolutely makes you lose here and you get balled by Goya. Misses his first shot. shot no good and that free throw line has really not been friendly for them tonight Dick. yeah they just haven't looked comfortable from there he lets it go 
Navy are on a nice little run at the moment. Hey, they to keep pushing and seeing if they can force a timeout. He looks for three. They're trying to build an entire neighborhood with all those bricks, Brad. Well, they need some buckets, and they need them in a hurry. Pushing that basketball. It's stolen. He's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. He shoots from right of the circle. Dick, he's just taking too many bad shots. And I don't think he's done yet, Brad. He takes it away. Jump hook from the low block. He can't get the hoop to fall. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. He shoots from right of the circle. Navy have gotten themselves into a bit of a rhythm on offense, Dick. They're really on a nice run right here. Dick, I think there's a mismatch in the post. Let's see if they can get him the ball. He went for the steal in the post, and he missed it there. Oh, I'll tell you one thing. What a poor job defensively. He gambled. Looking for a good shot. Now he faces up on the low block. I think it's great when you got a post player that can face up on a defensive player and attack the basket. Looking for a good shot. Checks it. Now in transition, trying to score the other way. Number 30 is whistled for the defensive foul. Fourth personal foul. If his actions weren't deflating enough, how about this? He's definitely provoking this crowd. You've got that right, Brad. He goes to the free throw line. Makes his first. That line is really being good to him tonight, Dick. That line's always good, Brad. These guys just have to make good use of it. Makes those free throws count. He wants to go back on that campus. It's BMOC. Big man on campus, baby. Gave it up. And he'll kick it back outside. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Now the turnaround jumper. Off the rim and no good. Well, Dick, the fans seem to be getting restless here. They are dying to have something to cheer about. it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Rims out. There's a high screen. Now they work it around the perimeter. Blocks the shot. the dribble gives it up they go inside and now back outside I tell you inside outside action always works good defensive stance there against the spin move well the key is to beat him to the spot and he did a great job he anticipated that spin move the point guard gets the pass 
It might be safe just to start that bus up. I think this one's over. That's all she wrote, Brad. This one is a done deal. Entry pass in the paint. Here's a double team. Stolen ball. For the bucket. Off the rim and no good. He comes away with it. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help side. On the outside. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Intercepted. They're off into transition. He buries the shot. Great defensive play. Anticipating well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. Point range. He gets the bucket to fall. He makes the block. Makes it. Let's see if the replay does that any justice. Laid it on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. For the bucket, and he misses the shot. Number 33 is charged with the foul. Fourth team foul. He sure does, Dick, and why not? He and his team have all the momentum. I can't wait to see what unfolds next. Pump them up, young man. Pump them up. Number 12 goes to the charity line. Makes the first shot. Second shot, good. Gets his third. up the shot. Rims out. Maybe some game plan changes, Dick. You never know what's coming, Brad. He shoots from the top of the circle. He buries it. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. He tries the three. That was nice. 
Number 15 is seemingly at an emotional low right now. He's got to snap out of it. His team needs him. Tempo of the game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. They work the perimeter. Up and inside. Sometimes statistics lie, but in this tournament game, I don't think they do. The better team won, and they're going up. Well, I tell you, they won this game, Brad, when you look at it and analyze it, because they really had all the right people shoot the ball at the right moment. They did a terrific job offensively. The State Farm drive of the game. I tell you, he was explosive. He was up, up, and away. What a drive to the rack, baby. That was special. Navy opened the tournament with an impressive first-round victory. Winning that game was so important. A big first win. Not only keeps the team's championship hopes alive, but does wonders to come.